Hi guys, this is a video overview for the persuasive response, which will be the next uh, task to focus on at the start of term two. Uh, just a quick reminder, in terms of novel study, you will find the requirements and reminders, but uh, technically the final of the transcript and audio recording or multimodal are due by the close of Friday uh, this week, term to week one please remember that you have these youtube videos on how to format and submit but also upload if the document is too big for daymap moving on to the persuasive response you'll see that i've gone ahead with Ms. Zilm, uh, outlined the due dates for the persuasive draft but also the writer statement which will uh, use one half or um, be linked to the persuasive draft so be mindful of that as you go to create this task you have an overview of the task sheet and video. You have an overview of the writer statement, specifically the persuasive response aspect of that. So please watch that. And in short, as you create your persuasive response and finalize it, you will need to find evidence to justify um, your choice of topic, audience, purpose, and stance, along with structural and language features that you are to embed. A reminder that the writer statement is its own separate assessment, which will count towards your overall grade within this uh, folio of work. In terms of activities, on the Friday, you'll be asked to review the task sheet um, and write a statement along with the various resources. But the task is going to ask you to, based on that and review, is to brainstorm three potential ideas that you might like to focus on for your persuasive response. These are to be uploaded to Daymap Tasks under the activity that has been set. If I hit refresh, and here it is, Persuasive Response Brainstorm Friday Checkpoint, as uh, this document will ask you to have three examples with the points so myself or Ms. Zilm can look at them and veto or say which one you should focus on. That way, um, you can begin writing the Persuasive Response Draft, which is due at the end of week two. To help you write that draft uh, to its efficiency, you have a reminder on Persuasive Language Technique, PowerPoint, and uh, Kahoot!, you then have uh, multiple cahoots, which I've created that are just a fun little way to revise persuasive language that you should be already aware of. One that you want to focus on is the ABC of persuasive language convention, which is both a PowerPoint, but then video, which goes into quite a bit of depth as to the variety of persuasive language techniques that we would be looking at in terms of a year 12 standard. So please consider these. Um, I've then gone ahead and uh, had a reminder about that, knowing that your writer statement will require you to um, not only address and state which techniques you use, but embed examples and state their intended effect. And that's why this uh, PowerPoint and video is useful because it does have suggested effects. In terms of choosing and planning your topic, you'll use this PowerPoint to review just your understanding of what moderators would be looking for and the uh, aspect of a persuasive response to then go ahead and submit those suggested ideas by Friday. If you wish to go ahead and look beyond this, you could look at the actual planning sheet that is reminded or suggested, along with a Kahoot about that. Um, but most importantly of all, you do have three uh, varied A examples that vary in terms of topics, um, but are outlined in video as to why, or rather what persuasive techniques they used. So hopefully this has been a nice little summary of the resources that are available to you. Be mindful that the due date or draft due date is at the end of week two, which would be expected because you have created persuasive responses before. Now is your time to make it count, being mindful of the writer's statement that you will work on um, somewhat in unison over the next few weeks as you go ahead and write your persuasive response. We address the external component, which is the pink and brainstorm ideas and comparisons. Then focus on the descriptive writing task where you then write the second half of your writer's statement to make sure that the writer's statement draft is submitted with your description in week nine. So just be wary of that, that we are juggling a few things in this term two to make sure that we are then ready for term three, which will be the external component to then round out with one more task after that before, well, we finish. Thank you.